Hello everyone and welcome to my self-assessment 2020. This is part two where I'm going to be talking about self-development or personal development. In the last video, I hope you watched it, I was talking about spirituality and let's get into it. So with self-development, I would say that this takes a large percentage of my effort and what I kind of focus on most of my time. And when I say self-development, I mean in your ability to think, able to learn. So whilst I've been learning for the last two years, over two years, when I say learning for two years, I mean through literature rather than generally learning. But also you do dual coding, which is using both video and literature format information, because then you're targeting the left and the right hemisphere, analytical left side, and then the creative side is the right side of the brain, right hemisphere of the brain, and both in combination, it's supposed to make it more effective where one side of the brain doesn't grab information, the other side can grab it more effectively. I've had the goal to read 24 books a year. From this, I consistently read 30 minutes to one hour a day. Some days I don't, some days I read extra amounts to maintain this type of goal. The types of books that I would read, only really read, would be like the psychology of habits, how to build better habits, ultra learning, meta learning, learning, how to learn which is very important schools don't really teach you it they teach you different subjects but they don't teach you how to maintain your brain how to ultimately get smarter so this was the idea some things i found is there's things called mnemonics mnemonics is a way of encoding information that has been using throughout centuries of ancient greek history where they used they never had paper before and they needed to find ways to actually hold like one hour presentations or speeches. So what they'll do is they'll encode the memories and the gist of it is basically your brain doesn't like to memorize different things that are intangible. Intangible being not solid in space because your brain can't understand it as well. That's why numbers are so difficult to remember. Say it's an, it's an idea of quantity rather than a physical object. There is a thing called the major system where you can convert numbers into letters. The letters you convert then into words and those words can be tangible objects. This is a way of refiltering, encoding information so then it's easy for your brain to fix onto, hold. So these are very powerful. Within self-development, I also I started learning Spanish, which is good. Uh, and then I started learning some other languages, but I ended up cutting them off and then not learning them at all like because there's other things more pressing that I should be focusing on. I wanted to learn Mandarin and French, although it felt like it was just one of those things that would be cool and quite novel. I did not really care that much. I was looking at the angle as if I learned Spanish, English, and then Mandarin, that's the three most spoken languages in the world and I could speak to like 90% of the population, but there's no real point. Up until now, what I'm doing is I'm making YouTube videos and this also I would say would go towards a part of self-development because I'm able to actually analyze, go through what I'm actually doing, which can help me develop even further, which is always quite helpful. There's books that I've been reading by Tim Ferriss, anything with Tim Ferriss on it, I like pretty much, or I would assume that I would like. Uh, Tim Ferriss is a, like a strategist and you'll find the fastest, best ways of doing things. I have discovered that in a journey of self-development, personal development, questions are very powerful tools, extremely powerful, and they should never be underestimated. If I ask you the question, if you only had two hours to work on your business per week, what would you do differently? What would you do to make the most effective things happen in that time, in that short space of time? If you ask yourself different types of questions, you're actually opening your mind to different areas of focused energy and then you're able to get different results as a as a result of that so do not underestimate the power of questions i've wrote lists of questions i've even started doing programming in python programming uh, that was another little project thing i was doing and i made a web crawler that can crawl the internet and it just scrapes out anything any sentences with question marks in there and then you can filter out by word as well. So I basically made something that searches through all different websites and grabs everyone's questions and then reorganizes them how I would like, which is really cool. With the programming, uh, it's kind of like, kind of now gone on the back burner. I should have kind of, really, I should have continued doing that because it could be a valuable tool and also it could have got a, got a well-paid well job. But instead, I'm making YouTube videos or 
these videos here and it's, it feels kind of irrelevant like I'm wasting my time a lot of the time right now which goes against the whole idea of my self-development and stuff but I did make a bet to do this so I have to kind of complete this I've only got 20 days 19 days and 15 hours to complete this because that's New Year's I need to make 60 videos and then this is overdone with hopefully I maybe I continue it depending on what's happening but again with self-development this is the largest portion of my energy is spent here I would say I spend I've bought loads of different books things like Seth Golden the linchpin I will say if you want to develop better habits and stuff like this learn how to manage your environment learn how to make small changes in your environment to make paths of less resistance make less resistance to the good habits so that would mean putting your gym gear closest to the wall putting wall top around the room so it's easier for you to access easier for you to go to the gym easier for you to commit to the good habit and make it equally harder for you to do the bad habit this is powerful because your brain switches off and it's like off like 80% or 75%. I get different numbers from different people, but just say it's a higher percentage of time that your brain is not really switched on and it's on autopilot. So bearing that in mind, you need to adjust your environment to allow you to become the best person in those moments when you're not actually thinking. With reading, what I would suggest is go on your phone and download or go onto Google, sorry, and check out anything with book summaries, two minute book summaries, because you can, you can read through a wider breadth of different subjects, topic, and then you can go little bits, pinching to get yourself more holistically in as a whole, you can focus on different areas of life. And then if you find the book that you like, then you can, I guess, commit to it for a longer term read because they do take like eight hours, hour, 10 hours or something, depending on your reading speed. I did make, I have made loads of different types of calculations as well. Calculations on how long it takes to read something. And I worked out, I think it was about 45 minutes reading per day will allow me to reach my goal of 24 books a year because I do read quite slow, considerable considerably considering other people's reading speeds this here is something very cool this is my little tray of flashcards and what i do is i basically when i get bits of information i filter it out and then condense them into these small little flashcards of information and these here is just on a range of different topics and i can just throughout the days i could just go and pick them out and think okay now i want to learn a little bit more about this or i want to refresh my mind about this and that which is great an application that you should be using is evernote evernote is a way of organizing notes online so you can have it in the cloud because this here the only fault with this i like it because the fit the physicality and you got like things like the production effect and when you put pen to paper you can memorize it more because you've got kinesthetic encoded memories through the paper but the bad thing about this is if there's a fire then i lose all my notes and it's all wasted time wasted in vain so use evernote as well and evernote is a way of putting it all in the cloud and it's got a really good organizational system where you can put keywords multiple keywords to reorganize and restructure your notes into many different ways I want to be learning about body language, non-verbal communication, part of my self-development. I have checklist from one book that I read, the checklist manifesto. Now I have a checklist template book. And what this does is it allows me to reduce the amount of cognitive load or the amount I'm thinking, doing processes of different things that I do on a day to day basis. My stretching routine when I'm working out, back pain support, what I do in the morning, what I do at night, what to do when I don't know what to do. Some of my next books that I'm going to read is right now this one here, which is How to Talk to Anyone. 92 Little Tricks to Help You Communicate Better. This is going to be important for helping me interact with society. Also, this book here, which is called The, the Little Book of Talent. 92 Tricks on How to Be More Talented basically the idea that pianists and people like this have got very particular strategies of how they practice like pianists they don't just play pieces what they'll do is they'll play over pieces and they'll isolate problematic areas so they can make improvements in that area in an isolated manner and then re-put it back into the song after there's different things that people do that can be translatable into many different areas if you can find it and you're a bit more creative 
another book that I read was doing the right thing. Doing the right things right, which is good because you can you can do the right things, but you have to do it right. Ultra Learning, this is a great book. It's got loads of tips on, on more about understanding the brain, how the mind works and how you could be learning. This book is called High Performance Habit. It tells you and goes through a list of different things that's gonna help you become more successful through your habits because that is kind of who you are. If you're able to change your habits, you can change your positioning in the world and your positioning on yourself. This one I haven't read yet, but this is called Moonwalking with Einstein and it is about card, it's about mnemonics and how you can encode information, memorize cards, moonwalking with Einstein. Einstein says that imagination is more important than intelligence and maybe this could be because he was aware that when you use your imagination you can actually unlock different areas of the brain and you can hardwire different errors or, to, or encode it into your long-term memory. This is a great book, it's massive and I haven't been through all of it, but this one here is Tools of the Titans by Tim Ferriss and this basically goes through loads of different things. This could take a lifetime just to kind of go through all this. About 500 CEOs, very well-known people. There's many other books that I've got, but that's what I want to cover right now. <laughs> things like this. Okay, people, I wanted this kind of shortish and sweetish. I have done things with the understanding of changing your environment. I have gone through and I've thrown away most of my cupboards and things because they're empty space and it just gets in the way. Instead, what I've done is I've mounted a desk, L-shaped desk going all the way around my room. And this is to maintain focus and an understanding that I need to work and I need to get things done. It gives me more space to actually do stuff. So this is why it's good to adjust your environment. I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe for more future content. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about some other good stuff. Let's go. Take care. Bye-bye.